Welcome to the world's first Black Nerd Empowerment Podcast. This is the Nerd. With your boy, see going right. And you get a snowman. I was tapping you because we do it doing live. Put him to sit back. You can't oh. see his face. All right, there we go. If y'all want to see this episode live, it'll be on our Instagram page in Yuki314. Yep. Yuki the Snowman 314 Instagram. So if y'all want to check it out live, if y'all want to see our faces, because we ain't no in the shadow ass nigga. Um, if it's your first time listening to us, you can find us at SwordsNerd.com. We're Swordly Nerd on Instagram. Duh. We're on YouTube. We're on Twitter. Spotify, iHeartRadio, iTunes. We're basically everywhere. Just go type in Google Swarthy Nerd. You'll find us. Um, we usually have three segment segments. Our first segment is what we've been up to. So I'll start off with me. The first thing I've been on is Snowpiercer. It returned for a second season. Um, I told y'all guys and girls about this um uh, show. It's amazing. Shit, the movie's amazing. But the TV show is basically about the it's the second season and the, we find out it's actually a second train um, on the rail and we find out that um, the the uh, the real what's the nigga name uh, West West uh, damn the leader of the fucking train who made the train and shit he is not dead he's actually alive and he's in another train and he's trying basically gonna take everything from the snow snow pierce as much as he can. Because the fake um, leader of the train sort of pretended like the leader was dead. So she took everything from him and and pretended to be him. But the people in the back, the low-level you no know, people, they realized the dude wasn't real. So they took um, over the train and now they run the train and making it more a democracy other than like rich people at the top, poor people at the bottom type shit. So that's pretty much what the uh, sex scenes is about. It's just them going up against um, Wilford. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Wilford Industry. I think it's named Wilford. Wilford Industry. I, I don't, don't want to keep saying no, bro, and I'm wrong. Someone <laughs> a W. I know someone a damn W. Watching the comments be like, that's not the, his name, you fucking lame. Oh, uh, some shit. I know something. But um, it's a good second season. I like it. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I'm not talking like it's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright though. Um, I recommend it. It's on TNT. If y'all want to check it out, come on on Sundays. I mean, I don't, I don't know. But um, other than that, only thing I've been really playing is Fire Emblem Heroes. Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> if it was uh, they're gonna say three houses, some shit. I mean, I was playing three houses the DLC. Um. Well, you know what? Let's push it on to you. How? What do you think about the Fire Emblem Three Houses DLC? What is the DLC called? Ashy Wolves. I mean, Ashy Wolves. I Ashy. said Ashy Wolves. Jesus, they being racist. <laughs> Ashen Wolves. Ashen Wolves. Ashen. Some, or Ashen. Ashen Wolves. Oh, okay. Ashen Wolves. Sound, sound like I was saying Ashen Wolves. Yep. 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 Tell that, us about it. That DLC is is fun as hell. Like story wise. It does not feel like a fire moon game. Taekwondo. Oh, this is my, oh, this is my cousin. Ooh. Oh, he said, What's good, uh, Ben? Oh, what's up, little cousin? Um, then you got a underscore Justin Shorts. Justin saying Moshi Moshi. Moshi, Moshi. That's me, hello. That's me, hello. We on the phone, Japanese. Oh, phone. man. Come on. Don't be weird, boo. Like that, <laughs> don't be don't, a fucking weird, boo. Don't be a weird, boo, dude. Moshi Moshi. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Moshi Moshi. All right. But yeah, fire him. Three houses. Actually, was fun DLC. The story does not feel like a fucking Fire Emblem game. Don't spoil for me, though. I ain't that deep into the story. This nigga beat the whole DLC yeah, within, a within a week. week. <laughs> well, I was, I was playing on um, Game Journalist mode, aka Easy mode, too. Okay. Because I want to play Awakening ASAP and play that on. Oh, don't, don't fast track the new game <laughs> for the old game. That's some fuck shit. Damn. Don't fast track the old game. Well, yeah, like the DLC is fun. Like the story, it feels like more of a um, short anime mm-hmm. than an actual Fire Emblem story. Mm-hmm. It's more I, not laid back, but it just takes it just takes up seriously. You know, there is like some serious tone. Mm-hmm. Like for example, Coco Constance. No, she has that old Osama oh ho, 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 laugh in Japanese. 
You talking like uh, Frieza? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like Frieza <laughs> I like, voice. I love her laugh. I love her laugh. I love Frieza voice. I love how cocky she is until she gets to the sun. And when she gets to the sun, she's all depressed, mm-hmm. humble, talking shit about herself, saying, I'm such an idiot. Excuse me while I go bury myself in a uh, hole. And you guys can leave me alone. Nah. And you got Bautis, you know, the cocky, big-ass dude. This motherfucker is hanging. This dude's a grown-ass man. Hang out with fucking teenagers. Shirtless. We're not sure, but no, he got his fucking jacket open. Okay. And he just want to fucking fight. Mm-hmm. He got um the black girl, Happy. She's the, dude, like she's the best character in the fucking game. In the DLC. In the DLC, because he's just so fucking blunt. This is the part where um well I can't I can't, I can't, well, I can't really go into this because we haven't got far, but like she's always so classic. He always like telling the truth, like telling people like, you're fucking stupid. <laughs> or you're corny. Mm-hmm. Then you got Yuri, you know, Yuri was fucking this fucking pretty boy. He oh, like hell yeah. Who, hey. who looks like, look like a chick. But it's a dude, but you know, these fucking new vehicles weren't these and these motherfuckers who look like a chick, but it's a dude because you no know, for Joshi's love their fucking weird motherfuckers who look like mm-hmm. fucking bitches, not men. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Um Yeah, I mean, I ain't that far, so yeah, you, like, I, what, I, I what, what chapter? What chapter? Is, I'm, uh, I literally finished the first, like, you know, how you first start, you yeah. go into like, oh, the, you, go, you go, you do that little ball, the little oh, ball swoosh. Yeah, that's literally all I finished. That's yeah. all I finished. I ain't finished nothing else. I can't go that far, but I would say the gameplay. I love the gameplay. Like, I love how it makes you actually be careful with your resources and your money because once you're going out money, that's it. You cannot go out and get more money or you sell your items. Mm-hmm. The second you, you want that money, you're pretty much soft lock. Mm-hmm. So what I did was um, I saw who was my best characters and getting all the best weapons. It gave my weak characters, you know, like iron swords, silver, I mean um, steel swords, steel axes, just getting like some weak shit. So when my top guys soften the bad guys up, my weak guys could just finish off. Mm. I also like how you also can't really they make you play around with the s- skills and the uh, gambits the game gives you. Like you can't actually use your gambits or skills from your past, say fouls. You actually got to use what they gave you. You got to be smart with it. Like, and, and, I, and I wish they would let you. At least, well, I guess you would be like God mode. Yeah, that, yeah. like I li- like I don't like like I don't like how. Well, if they would have done that, I wouldn't like it. Like I like how they force your hand, not force your hand, but like they give you like shit to use on their own terms, and you have to play around with it. Mm-hmm. I hear you. I feel you. Oh, shit. Sure. I was supposed to, be supposed to say, this episode 100 yeah. of our podcast. We're supposed to be live on goddamn YouTube. YouTube, but YouTube like I say, like fucking YouTube. Well, they don't know. Well, people who are listening right now, oh, yeah, unless, you was on, unless you was on Instagram right now, you know. For the most part, uh, yeah, the YouTube boy, the latency on the fucking shit we was using was bullshit. So anybody listening, give us a fucking um streaming shit to use. God damn, well, YouTube, because Streamlabs was on some goofy shit. Oh hell yeah, on some goof they goofy wanted shit. They want to download like five different programs just to get latency off. <laughs> and not just know what is your audio plugin? What's your visual plugin? Uh, what do you want to use? Uh, for? Justin. Ten short says, talk about redo the healer. Redo the healer. Yeah. Um, you want to cut in and talk about redo the healer real quick? Yeah. While we uh, um, cause we live on Instagram, that we, we want to answer the people who fuck with us. So, what you think about redo the healer real quick for uh, Justin shots or whatever? <laughs> I, I'm looking sideways. Like, like, so, for, like for me, like my views on it. I mean, we can go. We can we can um talk about it right now. Redo the healer. Let's get it. I get why this controversy, mm-hmm. but I think I, I haven't saw this week's episode. Me either. Like, okay, I'm pretty, I'm pretty ahead in the manga. Well, anybody who li- listening and y'all hearing it next week, we ain't watched last week's episode. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I, I watched this past episode because I'm pretty ahead in the manga, so I was like, mm-hmm. why the hell should I waste my time watching the anime? Um, because you get to, you get to see it visually. Sure, that, but. Visually, you get to see the dude raping the girl. <laughs> you don't want to see him raping the girl. Someone would just cut in. He just started raping <laughs> the girl. Oh my gosh! Part of it's the fans. I got new. No, we got a new comment. But we yeah. got um Torchwood 
four SP joined. He said, "What wave, Nick? What wave? Wave. He put a hand with a wave. Oh, Dude. wave. Oh, wave. Oh, he made like DLC wave for five. He- hello, hello, hello. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your name again? Torchwood. So you watch Torchwood, dude? Man, that's a soap opera for a British television, dude. Don't watch Torchwood. You repping Torchwood like that? Let me watch no, um, no. Come on, man. Not no Torchwood, though. Just watch, <laughs> just watch Doctor Who. I'll be good with that. But sorry. But yeah, redo the healer. But redo the healer. Um, I get why this controversy because you no, know, that dude is on some fuck shit. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think about this. If you was in that situation, getting raped by people over and over again, torture, abuse. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you snap like that? Wouldn't you do some fuck shit? Oh no, no. I, th- I, I had to had to text Yuki and tell him like, man, I wasn't down with the whole him the story about him raping women. But as soon as I saw that man rape him, I was like, man, you better rape that bitch. <laughs> Straight up. Like, I, I was all see, the perception of why people kept saying is he only levels up when he rapes a woman. But then you find out what happened to him, you like, oh. This is the first time I'll say, go, 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 go. It's bad, but man, shit, do what you do, dude. He has some weird, the weird. Hiller, the Hiller did nothing wrong. Right, Hiller did nothing goddamn wrong. Goddamn. That's some controversy as fuck. People are like, oh, these two black YouTubers is supporting rape. Supporting rape. <laughs> And then you tell them, um, you break down like so. If a dude dick you in the ass and hold your tongue while another girl suck you off, <laughs> um, and and then they only use you to, to, and then they pump you with drugs, um, to force you to heal people. Knowing every time you heal, you see people's memories, it like gives you PTSD. Like, but apparently he's a bad guy for uh, he's the bad guy for getting revenge. Shit, what the fuck is get the fuck out of here anyway. Um, but yeah, so yeah. Bad, good. My redo healer. It's good. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, it's not animated season, but it's good. As for me, it is. For me, <laughs> for me, it animated is. season is all uh, wonder a priority. Wonder a priority. Yeah. Wonder a priority. It's about the girl uh, who her homegirl committed suicide, and she's trying to like redo the suicide. Just redo the healer. No, it's not redo the healer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> redo the suicide. Redo this. <laughs> I was like, that's what's called. That would be fucking a coinky thing. Um. I like Redo the Healer. For real, for real. Um, I know the person who asked us for it, they probably think, man, fuck that anime. That anime ain't fucking sexist. No, we don't think that. I mean, me, I mean, you you heard Yuki's opinion. My opinion, I got heard what I said. Go, 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 go. For real. Like, we should name an episode of that. Go, 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 go. Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. And make the screen, uh, make the thumbnail with her on his head. Before he uh, raised her, uh, Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! No, before he um uh, changed her face. Hey, for real? Did he? Hold on. Did he change her face? Yeah. It seemed like he didn't. It seemed like he just changed like a little nose or some shit. Oh, like her hairstyle or some shit. Like uh, it's like the same fucking girl to me. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The just some shots. He gave us a laughing. <laughs> oh, oh, I mean that's real shit. Well, I mean, what you think, Justin shots? I mean, you thought was you think we wrong about? The person being like, you know, raping a motherfucker. I mean, the the fucking dude got raped by men first. Hold on. And <laughs> chicks. He say, uh, uh, he say, um, the real, the real, the real lean of the go joy. They waving again. Oh, I, I, I'm looking sideways. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, like, don't, don't, don't think of us in the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, we got our phone sideways, so yeah. whatever y'all send us, it's gonna look weird as fuck. Yeah, I learned from Challenge Gambino. He literally will jump off stage and take your phone and turn it sideways, nigga. And <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing it that way for, nigga? You gonna upload portrait mode? Right, right. You wanna upload this shit to the YouTube, motherfucker? Shit, put that shit up. <laughs> sideways, sideways, oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Landscape mode. But um. No, I love Redo Hiller. That's one of my favorite anime is the goddamn year. Because the only reason why it is is because I've never seen an anime like this. Like, it's, it blew my fucking mind away when in the first episode when he was being ran by all the women. I'm like, oh, actually, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even trip off. I'm like, okay, you got, so what? So what? You got your dick sucked by <laughs> five women. So what? You 13. Well, how, how old is he? How old is the character? Um, 14 to 15 start the series. Well, so what? You, can, you, know, you, you know how many people 15, 
16 one day you want some they dick suck they fucking using lotion and fucking <laughs> socks and shoes <laughs> nigga the porn, they, the porn hub. you know well poor home didn't exist when i was a kid but shit you, motherfuckers imagining all type of shit this nigga upset because he got his dick sucked and all they want is your cum what all they, like, they want is to live up right <laughs> 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 Five ESP points are made from getting level eight. Shit. Let's hop them. Let's hop them. Let's bust it on her and be done with it. No, he, uh, Justin in the shorts uh, shot says, no, 100 realism. What you mean by no 100 realism? I think they, I think they want us to be real, like, wow, hands on us. Oh, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I ain't going to mind me. We, we don't. Because there's a lot of people who... Or so finny, or so fucking emotional about this fucking show. No, because half these little dirty little white boys want to rape a girl. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that—that's real shit, though. They really do. They be thinking about it like shit. But I ain't strong enough. It's a mass community, right? The the <laughs> woman might beat my ass. Shit, I, I can't rape a girl. These motherfuckers, get the fuck out of here. These niggas ain't trying to do no shit like that. No, I like Reason Hiller though. Yeah. But let's go. <laughs> let's go about the fire. <laughs> How are we gonna fight? How much are we doing? Well, he asked. He asked on Instagram. Asked, hey. th- throw more questions in Instagram, everybody. This, share this link. Share, subscribe, like, all that shit. Share this shit. We want more. Share it to all your black nerds. We want all black nerds to hit us up. We want to talk that shit. If you like, if you like the fuck shit and we do the Hiller, play Fight Emma Four, Gina Joe, the Who You Are. And get to the second half of the game. Nigga ain't gonna play twenty hour, a uh, <laughs> hundred, six hours Cause of because it gets to a waste scene. If I am with you, not joking. Right. And I why? watched that scene, Yugi. I downloaded the game and it and it didn't succeed. What you thought it was? You tricked me. I know everything was text. Lean, the green hair dancer girl gets assaulted by an old ass man. Jesus Christ. It's implied, but <laughs> given the text and how it's set up. Mm-hmm. This is probably not any implications. Implications. This probably didn't happen to her. Thank you, y'all. Yeah, he, uh, like Justin fuck, Shot like says, um, at DJ blah blah blah. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Is it? Oh, oh. I guess he's tagging people. Okay. Oh, okay. But yeah. Like, well, 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 no, 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 no. no. Well, since we on the creep shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is this is this how we saw. Hey, it's episode one hundred. Episode one hundred, man. We, we, we keep it on one hundred. So, I was watching some porn. This was the most... It was, you traumatized me this week. I literally um, stopped like, oh, man, I can't do this. Oh, man. Like, damn. So, I'm watching some porn. I like amateur shit. No yeah. bullshitting. Um, I can't do the normal porn. No porn personal shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, cause, any fucking cameras. Yeah, you can. Team boom mics. Yeah, you can definitely tell they faking. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. And like, you see them, like you're faking it. Yeah, this is not. This is a job for you. You faker. So cut, cause no, they got the needs got worn out. Yeah, no, no. A lot of people don't understand. A lot of us porn is so edited. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all think everything's seamless. No, they they, they pretending to chuck that bitch. They pretending to beat the shit out of that girl pussy for five, the three hour session. It's like four wrestling. All this just scripted. That b- 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 boy, straight up. I'm not gonna say fake. No, that just ain't fake. But right, you're right. dick and pussy ain't fake. <laughs> like this, <they're saying, laughs> ain't fake. Well, the story is fake, but not the f- people who fucking get slammed around and jump off f- twenty feet off ladders and shit. That's shit's real. Oh hell yeah! But yeah, I was watching this porn. I was watching some um some cuckold shit. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that's what I'm into or nothing like that. I'm like, oh, the, the 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 thumbnail. U C K cuck. But yeah, I was I was I was watching that shit, and I was like, okay, okay. Um, the black dude's fucking the shit out of this white girl. But for the for the most time, I'm not when I see this cuckold shit. When I see this black man. Fucking the shot of a white girl or a, a wife of a white man. I always think that's that can't be FBA. That can't be. It can't be FBA fuck. Cause first off, I can't feel comfortable trying to fuck a girl in front of their husband. In front of husband. In front of somebody else. And this dude, huh, I, I tried to block it out when I was trying to watch, but he kept coming in the screen jerking his tiny penis off. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, Jesus. So he fucking the shit. Hold on, hold on. Somebody probably going in on us. He said, I'm also watching Skate, uh, Skate, Skate the Infinity, Infinity and Banana Fish. You watching that, that gay t- anime? Um, What's that Banana Fish for you? Justin Shots. What's that Banana Fish for you? Sell, it sells it black. 
Oh no 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 it, 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 no no no! It wasn't my favorite. I just watched it because it was Mappa. Was it Mappa or Bones? Mappa. It was Mappa. That's yeah. why I watched. It still was well well animated, but it was a gay ass anime. But it actually wasn't that bad. So yeah, it was a good anime. <laughs> he likes Banana Fish. Banana Fish good. Um um, I haven't continued watching um, the Code Black uh sales of work because I want us to finish season you know the regular sales of work yeah. before I get into Black. But you mean I mean sales of Work black is just a standalone show. Yeah, no, but, but I still want to know where the roots come from. You know? still, I mean, same time, I mean, you don't need previous knowledge of the series to get into Sister Work Black. Well, yeah, but that's how that's telling someone you can just read the Lord of the Rings books and not read The Hobbit. <laughs> or you can watch or you can watch Higurashi Go and not watch the original Higurashi. You gotta. You because, gotta. Uh, Me not, personally, I can't do that. I can't just jump. Uh, it, it feels weird jumping to a sequel. Yeah. Or a second, like I remember, I remember. Oh, I don't know what game. I think it was a video game I played when I played. Oh, it was Mass Effect. I played Mass Effect two before one. Yeah. But they didn't release Mass Effect one on PlayStation three at the time because it was some bullshit made. Like the PS three was a bad, bad to make games for. Yeah. So the only way you can play Mass Effect one is playing a digital comic, where you play that and then it, you choose your events and then it, it gets transferred over to Mass Effect 2 on PS3. I ain't lying. Anybody who played Mass Effect 2 on PS3, yeah, I know I ain't lying. But I, I just can't jump into no shit like that. But no, 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 no. Hold on. Back to the cuckold shit, though. Real quick. <laughs> so I can finish this. So I'm watching it. Do fuck shit out of her. I think he busts all over her, her stomach. Yeah. And this is the part that gets me. The white dude came up and uh, started eating her pussy and licking the cum. I was like, no, man. Well, I ain't the watching. Dude was licking, was eating his cum. He don't give a fuck. He fucked his wife in front of him. He <laughs> but he still let no man lick his cum out of a bitch. That's still kind of that's kind of fruity by proxy. Oh no, th- no, it's fruity just by fucking a bitch in front of a dude, and he jerking off while watching you fuck him, cause he could be jerking off to you, <laughs> not the girl, not his wife. That's a wife he's been fucking a thousand yeah. times. I was like, oh no, Ugh. so I've been won't be watching porn for the next couple of months now. It, 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 for anyone coming yeah. in this live, uh, this whole fucking episode about podcasting. Justin shot. He put a, a, a injured smiley face. I don't know what that means. Yo, you you you're hurt by what I'm saying. I don't know. But no, that was real shit though. I was like, God damn, man, that fucked me all the way up. Shit. So I just pulled. I just started up Rita Hiller, and I finished off on that shit because I. <laughs> I'm fucking with y'all. Fuck with y'all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, now nah, Goblin said this look as bad now. Oh, right, right. People say Goblin say it's dark. I'm like, nigga, have you not heard of Redo the Healer? Uh, shit, Redo the Healer. It, got another wave from. I can't see. Oh my God, these names. Bar on Von K- Scotty Pants. Bear Von Scotty Pants. Scotty Pants, Bear Von. Scotty? Got you, you, you got a uh, question for us, Scotty? Yeah, I don't know why Yuki's so afraid to wear glasses. I mean, glasses. Some shit. But yeah. We do hoops, all right. But yeah, let's go back to uh, the DLC. <laughs> Fire the Houses. Promotion by Fire Emblem Three Houses. Okay. We're not sponsored on Nintendo. Mahias <laughs> or Koya Animation. I mean, Koi Tempo. I'm sponsored by Nintendo. They gave me a Switch. <laughs> Me too. They give me a Mercedes shirt. <laughs> Shit, to promote three houses anniversary. <laughs> so, thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> thanks. Uh, Someone clip this out and say, thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> thanks for the raping <laughs> of Fire Emblem Houses. Thanks for the thing of uh, Mercedes going cocaine with Annette. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, but yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we going off there, off the rails. All right, let's go. Well, yeah, um, like I say, um, I love how you are limited with your resources and force you to think about long term. And yeah, the game's like eight hours. The DLC is only eight hours, but at the same time. Okay, hold on. Justin Shaw says, porn, honey, gold. Hold on. Porn, honey, gold. Hold on. Porn, honey, gold. You say, okay. He says, porn, honey, gold. I just put you on your welcome. 
I don't know what that is. Uh, what is porn honey go? You talking some honey porn dude? <laughs> Cause I don't, I don't rock with uh food food fetishes. I ain't with all that. I ain't on with all that now. Porn honey gold. What is porn? You gotta explain more, man. Explain more. more. Come on, man. Uh, you gotta get that more. That sounds kind of weird. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, but yeah, go go ahead. Sorry. But yeah, um, shit. I think I pretty much talk about all the things I love about uh the Ash and Wolves mm-hmm. DLC. No. Um, I would say something about Yuri because there's a there's a, there's a um. So part chain with her and Bernadetta, mm-hmm. but it does uh, spoil a lot of shit about Bernadetta, Bernadetta's past. And since you haven't played it, huh? Even more than the actual story? Yeah. Holy shit! I need to hurry up. It's like, do, do you want? Like, do you, like, it's like it's like minor spoilers, but you want it? But Yuri and um, Bernadetta. Go ahead. Okay, so you know the so you know how Bernadetta was talking about how she was friends with a comic boy. Mm-hmm. That was him. Yuri oh was his friend. shit! Yeah. Okay. And. Yuri got his ass beat by uh, her dad. Oh, shit. Okay. But there is major spoilers for why he beat his ass. It's mm. not because we think it is. What is it? You want spoilers? Oh, well, no. Don't tell me that. It's major spoilers. Like, it's actual, like, okay. storyline story oh, spoilers. Oh, no, 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 no. Anyone no. in the chat that knows about Yuri and Bernadetta and okay. what happened? Don't say the shit in the damn chat. Don't they gonna say fuck it in up. the chat. They're going to hey, send it in the damn chat. They're going to type it in right now in the Google. <laughs> They're going uh, to uh, they gonna email me personally. <laughs> With a screenshot of the image. Bastard. Okay, what just I say? Porn star name Honey Gold. Okay, we're gonna look up we're gonna look up Honey Gold, man. Is this a white girl dude? Because I don't do white girls like that. I, I like seeing um, big booty black girls. Me too. For real. I mean occasionally I do the white girl stuff, but for the most part, nah, I'm good. But um I ain't really watched nothing. I mean, I've I've watched Snowpiercer. I've pretty much been trying to work on this goddamn YouTube live bullshit, and they bullshitting me at the last minute. Well, they always been bullshitting, but they really bullshitting me. So, what well, what so we'll move on to you. What you got? I got uh fight on my heroes. Oh, let's talk yeah. about it. I'm on um, book three. Uh huh. Um, shit, you're not that far. I can because it's kind of again heavy spoilers. Um, Bobby Vegas possible. Okay, um, he say the porn star is blazing. 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 Black and Asian. Blazing. That that's your thing, man. He's black and Asian. You got a um. You like black and Asian girls? <laughs> you got an Asian fetish? <laughs> hey, ain't, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, everybody, you know, um, everybody, everybody, everybody who went to anime, they they got a little Asian fetish. But you know what happens? They meet an Asian person. They show they don't fuck with niggas. You better be a white boy with um no degrees to get. I mean, a lot of degrees, a lot of money. Shit, <laughs> these, these these fucking Asian girls are fuck a bummy white boy. He just white. <laughs> they just trying to change the bloodline. Shit, we need a white boy in our family. We we, we need some blonde hair and blue eyes. We need to um be. We, we need to respect Hitler's call us honorary Aryans. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah, these fucking Asian motherfucking girls ain't gonna fuck with you like that. Now, if you're a black dude, for the most part, I mean, you gotta be running up on these girls in like these little weave shops and shit. Try to weave, weave, weave shops, weave. Chinaman shops, but it's it's rare you see a badass Asian working there though. Not bad, but yeah, man, fuck that. I gotta go bad. I ain't for the fucking um, <laughs> just pick an Asian because she Asian. Yeah, nigga. like she's from our uh, Jolla Club. I ain't since she gotta be a dime or nothing like that. But boy, fuck all that. Nigga, I ain't for to destroy everything for fucking uh, uh, six. Right, out of ten. Six out of ten, motherfucking um, Asian girl. Weird shit though, bro. But yeah, heroes. Sorry, heroes. Like once you get into all the books and the story, it's actually a pretty fun game. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you know about this, but, but the whole gatekeeper thing from uh, Three Houses, but he won the male division of Two Legends. Oh shit! Yeah. And it got people pissed. Mm-hmm. Some people were so pissed off that they actually harassed the voice actor of the gatekeeper. Wow. Yeah. Because they think he has something to do because he was kind of talking about, you know, hey, vote for, vote for gatekeeper. Mm-hmm. And people was like, man, you can switch your platform to to uh, fuck the system. It's like, how? Right. So there's people on the fight in the community too because pissed because gatekeeper won. And it's like, I don't like it. You motherfuckers are fucking mad over a fucking pitcher in a gotcha game. That's not gonna last another five years. <laughs> you motherfuckers are in your fucking boat, in your feelings, 
like Drake over a fucking pitcher for a gang that's going to go offline in about five to seven years because the fucking playership for the game is dropping each week. Mm-hmm. But, you know, it's, 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 it's these fucking white nerds who got n- nothing better to do, who they never face real shit, so they got to make up shit to feel helpless or worth, helpless or, yeah, they, they got to make shit to feel helpless. Yeah. If I knew that shit would piss people off, I would vote for Gatekeeper. That's a troll post. <laughs> um, Marth won second place. Chrome won third place for the female division. Mm-hmm. Um, the depressed numb bitch, uh-huh. look at her, um, Mary Ann, she won first place. I think the female lead from Circuit Stones won second place. I don't give a fuck who won third place in the female division. Mm-hmm. So, right now, people, like I say, right now people are pissed because, um, gay, yeah, gatekeeper won and it caused a shit storm in the community. Hmm. Okay. But it's kind of funny because um, remember we did an episode last week called uh, White Nerd Rage? Yep. It's funny how that happened during that same week we dropped the episode. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, like, um, like, I don't, I don't get why people get so pissed off over a fucking gotcha game. Like, is that shit so important, important to you that you had to harass watch actors and other people just to make yourself feel better. It's just a fucking game. All day. It's just a fucking game. And y'all cornball white nerds need to get some pussy and stop being so fucking emotional off this shit. Man. Or go outside. Have hobbies outside this nerd shit because I feel like most of these motherfuckers will get mad over video games, anime, comic books, that's all they into. They into TV shows. They into sports. They into going out to the club. They get stuck in that little realm of fantasy and think life is like comic books or video games and anything that's opposed to that is a threat to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what I was going to say. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> what did you got? Um. The last thing we got, I watched Snowfall season one, episode one. Because episode one. Yeah. Okay. I mean, because you know, Snowfall is coming back. It's coming back on FX. Yeah. In about two or three weeks, so I want to catch. Yeah, up. yeah. I'm about to say yeah, because that's all I'm gonna be talking about, yeah. nigga. Every week it's gonna be some Snowfall update. So, because that's what me and Yuki did last year. He used to come through, um, and we watched Snow. I was actually shocked. Yuki came every Wednesday. And we watch Snowfall, we'll do the podcast, and then watch... Did, did we do the podcast? Yeah. Or, or you just came to no, watch it? No, we did the podcast, then we watched Snowfall. Watch Snowfall. We always try to get done before Snowfall started. Man, that was some of the best viewing. Like, I don't think I understand. Snowfall be trending like a number one on Twitter and shit. And all that oh, shit. Oh, especially that's with um, freaking Kill Wandy. Got um, That was got, fucking trending like a motherfucker. Oh, we got Ray Tashi saying what's up. What's up, Ray Tashi? Oh, what's up, Ray Tashi? Um, but yeah. Um. Uh, yeah. Alright. Yeah. Snowball was the shit. That. But yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. I did peep how Franken has mindset because you know, in the first episode, Franken is talking about how he came back to L.A. after going to the Valley for college, and he realized no, the college education games not for black people. Moon Cycle. What's up, Moon Cycle? Oh, what's, up, Moon what's up, girl? He you missed you. How, how he was talking about how it was rigged and how it's not built for black people. So you been watching the anime Moon Cycle? Better be wa- been watching the animes. Go ahead, sorry. But yeah, like you talk about how no, how the system not for us, and the only way you get by life is to make money. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like my. I don't know if it's in the first episode when he talks when he talking to his little home girl from the hood, and he telling her like, "Yeah, I can't get into the whole smoking and drinking shit, man." Yeah, that was in the episode too. I, I feel a little too uh, weak. Weak. Like, yeah. Like, oh, like wow. Like that's what's up. Oh, I got a question. It's from I didn't speak. That was Moon Cycle. Yeah, we know that Ray Tashi. Jesus Christ, we just saying what's up. Just yeah, it was a wave. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. Now, what was I saying? Uh, snowfall. Oh, okay, Snowfall. Um, Things you liked about it. Um, you should have watched one episode. Man, you should have knocked I, out that I, whole I, first I, season. I didn't watch it like this today. 
Oh, damn, man. Shit. Which I'm watching the little things like with them loading on my fire stick. Oh, yeah. That's that's why actually I did watch it, but I can't talk about it because yeah. Yuki watched it because uh, me and Yuki both saying we want to... Um, um, we gotta start. We gotta start talking about more about the same things at the same time. Yeah, instead of watching it uh, in theaters. In theaters, um, uh, like I have been watching. I just finished Hunter X. Oh, you better have finished Hunter X Hunter. Who your favorite character, Moon no, it's Hunter, 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 not Hunter X Hunter. Well, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be those kind of fuck up times. Uh, okay, well I fucked up. Yeah, Hunter, Actually, Hunter, 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 not Hunter, Hunter X. Yeah, Hunter. Well, Hunter, Hunter. Who gives a shit? <laughs> uh, who your favorite character though? I've, I mean, you have you finished ever finished Gun Hunter? I didn't Hunter? Watch Hunter. Oh my God, dude! You like Yu Yu Hakusho? Yeah. Man, watch Hunter Hunter. Stop playing, dude. Literally, Gon is not the hero. The hero is everybody around him. Gon gets ass handed to him so many fucking times in that anime. Gon killer with all of them. Ain't nobody know. You never go. You never gonna see Gon go to like some bullshit Dragon Ball shit. He turns Super Saiyan. He could beat the villain. No. Nigga, everybody else handle it because they OGs. He got to listen to OGs handle it. Man, uh, boy, you better stop playing. Hold on. What Moon Cycle say? Uh, I finished my list. What's your list, Moon Cycle? Because um, your list can't be Inuyasha, um, Dragon Ball Z, um, Sailor Moon. Hold on. She said something. Are we gatekeeping now? No, we ain't gatekeeping. <laughs> no, uh, what? You got to watch Hunter Hunter like Kilo. I like Kilo. Oh, no. I saw I saw it. Uh, you saw on Yuki. Yeah. Tell Yuki to watch that shit. Stop playing. No. Shit. You better watch Hunter Hunter. That's, that's from the creator of Yu Yu Hakusho. But, uh, yeah. Well, well, you had a list. I, I hope. Yeah. Yeah. Knock on Hunter Hunter, though. That's the shit. But I'm um, sorry. Um, You was talking about Snowfall. Episode one. Yeah. Oh. I didn't expect the, the at least, yeah, the um Jewish guy to show up in since one, yeah, he's been there since day one. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing I didn't like about that first episode is him like and me shoot you in the chest. Yeah, I'm like, uh, that's not realistic. Yeah, niggas yeah. won't do that. Niggas, niggas will never do that. I don't go fuck you trying to get a nigga fifteen keys. Well, <laughs> got me thinking <laughs> that. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm well, I'm not a street dude, so I don't know if I wouldn't do that shit. If they gave me an opportunity, I, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't have done it. That shit, that was too risky. Because that, that Jew dude could have just shot you in the fucking head and yeah. you'd been dead. You know? On purpose. And you know what he about now since so you yeah. saw season a little bit of season two. But that's what fucked me up when I saw the trailer for season three. He back in season three. I'm like, what? Frankly, you fuck with this nigga again? Yeah, we'll see. Hold on. Uh, Moon Cycle says, yes, the guy at uh, at the list you guys gave me, I'm finishing up. I didn't finish it yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Um, we got a JDP one hundred. What's up, JDP? Um, sorry, looking at it sideways. We we, we look we, we look retarded. But hey, all like I said, you gotta do a widescreen. You can't do no fucking uh, what you say, portrait mode. Yeah, portrait is bullshit. I hate portrait shit. Don't ever upload portrait damn videos ever, motherfucker. What's wrong with y'all niggas, nigga? I, I need HD. <laughs> <laughs> I need HD quality murdering, nigga. If y'all gonna show some the niggas being murdered or some white people being murdered, then get some fucking widescreen format. No, I can't go on my gore website and see some white boy get his head chopped. I need on fucking <laughs> landscape. I mean, I like see portrait, but I need such a. Typos, yeah. That's Yell shit. at my kids. Said typos, yell at my kids. I feel you, girl. I feel your kids are annoying. Yeah, I'm telling you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, that's funny. But um, but no. Wait, he was in the first episode. Um, what what else you what else you uh, noticed in that first episode? Another thing I noticed in that first episode, because this is something you don't know. Yeah. But on FX, they never use the uh, curse words. They never use fuck and all that shit. So when he used fuck in that first episode, it's like whoa. Because they never did it on that network for because they just been tiptoeing around yeah. and that shit. But when he said, man, um, he said, uh, fucking drive. What are you talking to his mama about it, seeing his daddy or some shit? Yeah. What was it? What did his mama? No, no, it was his aunt. His aunt was his aunt. And that's a great storyline when his aunt and shit. Um, oh, his aunt getting a pistol rip. Oh, fuck yeah. That and just her whole backstory. Um, this, this show is really good, man. I always tell people, man, fuck power. Watch Snowfall. I used to tell people, I used to tell people, fuck Empire, watch Blackish, but fuck Blackish. Everything's fucking up. All these black shows is sort of this geared towards black people. It's all fuck shit in, man. Only show. Drugs, alcohol. 
it makes us it paints us in a bad light. Yeah. And we're more than just drug dealing, you know, pimps, you know, they they just put this bullshit as example of what how black people are supposed to be. And we ain't that. That's why I never could gravitate towards that shit when I was younger. I just like, what? Like I can't I can't relate to being a thug in the street. Can you give me like a nerd who can't talk to girls <laughs> and not a white guy? You know, and now you think about it, name me a black movie or a TV show with a black nerd who's awkward and all that shit. Ain't one. Steve Urkel. Steve Urkel wasn't awkward. He wanted a bitch. Uh. She just didn't want him. He had a bitch who was on him. I'm calling them bitches, but you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> oh. I don't mean to disrespect towards women. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Our viewership went down five uh, percent. Yep, yeah, that is uh, that is it. It's boring. Um, yes, yeah, Snowfall. Uh, Razu T join. What's up, Razu T? Give us a question, dude. We we'll, we'll talk that shit. Give us some shit. Ah. Um, yeah. Nope. Uh, yeah. Justin Shot says, um, Phantom Troop. Oh, all day. Bam Troop all day. Them motherfuckers go hard, but they can't fuck with, um, what was the fuck? Cap, 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 Cap I can never say do name. Capripia. 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 <laughs> I don't know how to say this shit, but that's what it is. Um, that dude's a badass. Now, dude, man, you fucking up on Hunter Hunter. For real, though. Like, for real. You fucking up. Watch Hunter Hunter. <laughs> for real. Uh... But yeah, I love FX. FX is one of the greatest networks um around. I always tell everybody, man, watch all the shit on FX. Everything. Go right now. Go into Google, type in FX TV shows. Watch all the motherfuckers. All of them good. It's like two I didn't like during my whole childhood watching that network. Like, it's no bad shit, man. And they actually make black shows that ain't showing black people and be such Tom Fordery buffoonery. Um this is episode 100, so we all over the place. Yeah. Don't don't expect a, a true structure. So if it's your first time listening, you probably like, man, fuck this. <laughs> We're on a topic. We got a topic. Our topic is um, learning how to read, but it's way later. <laughs> we, we just, you know, we on our first segment. Um, we got a new story? No, my new story is on Fire Emblem, the gatekeeper thing. But okay. Talk, yeah, so we so. got one new story. We always got segments. The first segment is what we've been up to. We saw all our shows and stuff. And then we talk about um, a new story, but we ain't one of these motherfucking um, boss up lipstick alley world's hip hop motherfuckers. You're not gonna hear us. Here you're gonna not. You're never gonna hear us say. Boss up, sell MTs. Right. We're never gonna hear us say, like like right, right now. We could be talking about the tiny and ti shit. shit. Fuck that shit. That's black buffoonery, and we don't need black buffoonery in our fucking life. You need black empowerment, black building shit. These motherfuckers I heard want your ass looking like a dumb shit. And all you know, all you know is sports and hip hop. And yeah, you might think we ain't shit because we all we know is anime and TV shows. You know what the difference is? We, we drop can, game. Yes, and we discompartmentalize ourselves from the shit. We can watch the shit and, and we can love it. Yeah, and we like, well, it's a little fuck shit right here, here, here though. Like I said about Snowfall, I love Snowfall. But that first episode, him shooting in the fucking chest, a Jew. Guess what he was? He's a Jew. A Jew boy who was pushing drugs into the um into America. That that fucked me up. Even though that I know the people who behind it, who writing all that shit. But um no, I can I couldn't rock with that scene. What do you like about Snowfall in that first episode? Sorry, go ahead. I like like come uh, on Snowfall. Uh, Snowfall. Smooth like I said, shut the fuck up. Or a black nerd who wasn't self hating. Uh, who wasn't uh wasn't a self hating uh oh no sorry shut the fuck up or a black nerd who wasn't self hating what what you mean by self hating what you mean what you mean most like we self or I, I'm not us but I don't know what you mean I don't know what you mean I don't know what might have said some shit <laughs> <laughs> I don't even realize yeah, what I'm we, saying we, we were just like fucking going mask off all right we're using mask off on everything so tell us what we're talking about uh, most <laughs> uh but um. But no, I love uh, everything on FX, Snowfall, all that shit. I highly recommend everybody check out Snowfall. Share the shit, everybody. Share, share this Instagram fucking post. Share this shit. Tell everybody to fucking check out two black nerds talking this shit about nerd shit. 
to see Katassian books just came out. Rest in peace. Rest in power. Eight, nine, seven years old. Yeah, nine, seven years old. Oh, Susan. Who? What? Cicely Tyson. What about Cicely Tyson? Cicely Tyson book just came out. Book? Yeah. But then she had a book. Okay. Who, who told us it? Is it Justin Charles telling us about some Cicely Tyson yeah. book? Boy, just as I boy, they might give no damn Cicely Tyson book. <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, I fuck with her, but nigga, I don't give a fuck about no book. Shit, we 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 rest in power to her. Shit. Yeah, um, what y'all can do is buy her book. That's great. She had a book out, but buy the book. Don't fucking bootleg it through a PDF file. Hey man, That's whole shit. man. It's a lot of motherfuckers who want to support people. Shit like our pocket. You probably, people say, yeah, man, we I, I share y'all shit all the time. No, y'all don't. Y'all share, y'all don't share that. Y'all don't understand. We get the analytics. We see when niggas share shit. You motherfuckers are not sharing it. You, you don't may, maybe lie. Don't be may, a fucking liar. Maybe you are sharing it and you hitting like, you know, you copy and pasting the URL and sharing it and shit. But hit the share button so we know. So we can't keep talking to this shit. But for the most part, ain't nobody hitting that damn share button. There's a few people with it. It's a few. Or, but, you know, they like it. Yeah. You know, help with the algorithm. And hell yeah. And people think, like, our YouTube views are what makes us. Like, no. no we're everywhere. We're everywhere. You can listen to us on iTunes, Spotify, iHeartRadio, every fucking word. Just type in Swarthy Nerd and fucking any damn, damn search engine, and you're going to see some real shit. Straight up. But no, I like, um... I like Snowfall and all that shit, but what does you got? Um, that's it, actually. Okay, what's the um story you got? Um, next segment, news stories. Gatekeeper, well, I pretty much say in the fire thing, gatekeeper in winning, yeah, gatekeeper winning first place in the fire emblem heroes truth legend voting thing. Mm -hmm. So for those who go to join in and don't know, gatekeeper from three houses won truth legends four. And for those who don't know what is Choose Your Legends for it, I mean, so Choose Your Legend, it, it, during the anniversary week of um, Fireman Heroes, you can vote for who you want to be in the next Fireman Fire Emblem Heroes as a five star character. For those who don't know, I, I, I don't know either, I'm not going to go in that detail. So, but anyway, um, so people online, like on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, mm -hmm. they d band together and voted for Gatekeeper to be. The lead male for the banter, not mm -hmm. banter, um, banner. Mm -hmm. Oh and, yeah, 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 yeah. And it caused a whole bunch of controversy because no, he is just a joke character who's also a NPC, non playable character. <laughs> but for some reason, he has been getting super popular within the fireman community because you know, motherfuckers love the memes. Mm -hmm. So people just been voting for him as a joke, and fortunately or, or unfortunately. Depending on your views on him, he won first place. Mm -hmm. Beating out Morph, Chrome. I wish I had a phone me because I can show you the list. I can say the list of who was on the male division. But he pretty much beat out the actual characters. Mm -hmm. For the female division, the winner was uh, Marianne for Three Houses, the uh, depressed bitch. Who likes to talk to animals because no, she can't talk to real people because she's so fucking socially awkward and depressed and mentally disturbed. So she, she won because motherfuckers love the depressed rifles. I was like, yeah, that's like white people's uh shit right there. Yeah, a fucking mentally struck motherfucker. God damn, they love I, that shit. I do like I do like Marianne, but at the time, that bitch is fucking depressing. Mm -hmm. Like she's always fucking being in stuff. I was like. I'm yeah, useless. you told me about her story. I'm like, yeah. God damn. Yeah, because her dad, um, spoilers, her bloodline is the fuck. The beast. So there was the, the motherfucker. Beast. Yeah, like what do you mean the beast? Someone like the dragon that uh old girl turns into? Yeah. Really? She related to him, her? Yeah, like um, I forgot the actual hero. It's also, you know, I wanna say Macau, McKill. Mm -hmm. But um, so all her life, she thought that she was a demon mm -hmm. or a beast, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not that much of the three houses. So uh, it's fu fu fuck the lore of three houses. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's not Gina, it's not Holy War or Facial, so it doesn't matter to me. Anyway, 
all her life, she thought that she was going to turn to a demon and was going to kill everybody that she got close to. So she pretty much became a shut-in. Um, but we do her um, prologue mm-hmm. in the time skip. She learns the truth about her bloodline, and she's also upset that she is part of that bloodline. It actually makes her less depressing. She actually start accepting who she is and start fighting life. This is actually a cool scene with her after um, you kill your former students during the fucking battle on Garden Field, where um, she's like, "Yeah, I never realized how death, how serious death was until I had to kill my friends." And she's like, "It made me realize that I need to." Appreciate like appreciate life more and stop being fucking depressing. Hey. Which was which is I can see why people like her for that part, but at the same time it's like And this is me. I think because motherfuckers like her because they see a weak, meek girl who's broken and they want to fix her on some creep shit. Oh yeah, okay. that's exactly what they are. Like motherfuckers like motherfuckers who love Dimitri. Like the fan girls because you no know, he's broke like acting the time he's broken, fucked up in the head, and they, and they want to fix him. I wanna fix the broken boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying a motherfucker who like Dimitri or Marianne or like that, but I can't help but notice like a lot of y'all weird motherfuckers in the fighting community think they need to be fixed and y'all are attracted to their brokenness. Mm, mm. If you think like way, if you if you don't think that way, do not respond to me because I will embarrass your ass. Mm. I'm not talking to you. Don't project your bullshit on me because I am telling the truth about your fucking wife who's Husbandos. Oh shit, he's passionate, everybody. Let him go. <laughs> Leave him alone, everybody. Leave that man alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, real shit. For, I feel you, man. For real. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers think they fist motherfuckers because um, they rise through Sakashi today in a week. Hey, straight up. That's real shit, though. Yeah. Um, What's now, too? Oh, uh, yeah. Smash again because I got a new fight pad, Hori fight pad. A uh, Hori, yeah, Hori. Okay. It's a, company, it's a um, company that makes um third party controllers, but like. Are you one? Oh, you like one of them niggas be watching that video? Yeah. Yeah. Pads and <laughs> shit. Like these niggas using pads to be, play fighting games. God damn it! Yeah. They going too old school. We don't got quarters no more, nigga. <laughs> we got the actual sticks. Well, okay. Yeah, that's what's up. Three hundred dollars. That's our cheap version. Yeah, that's what's up. The professional versus fight like fucking seven hundred dollars or some shit. Oh, straight up. But yeah, I love the fucking Hori Fat Pad for the Swiss like. Mm. It's so much more responsive than fucking playing with the fucking mm-hmm. Joy Cons. Mm-hmm. And I love how it's big. It's, it's like for people with big ass hands because I got big ass hands. And like play, try to play a fucking fighting game, like Smash, with the Joy Con thinking, it's a fucking struggle. So for people who are curious about, you know, what kind of controls you get for Smash Bros., get the Hori Wire Fight Pad. I am not sponsored by Hori, so I need to put that, I need to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> Someone come in, Breeze Manga, you are sideways. Yeah, we know yeah, we're sideways. Um, we, we doing widescreen. What, we, look, hold on. we look sideways to y'all? Like, it's a, like techno issues. Like, we look sideways? I understand that, but yeah. we, what's that's how it's supposed like, to be? Like our phones are sideways because no, you are supposed to record sideways. Yeah. Not record up, up and down. down. I mean, and, I mean, record like this I way. do notice everybody recording up and down, but it's usually we have to do it, do it sideways. Yeah. So, so what you what you mean by sideways though? Um, what's his name? Um, Breeze Mega, Breezy Omega. Nah, y'all good. Oh, okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. Hey, share, share this Instagram post. Hey, we need, this. we want more black nerds listening to this. We want black nerds to come in, question us about some shit. And we are FBA. We ain't no motherfucking immigrants. We ain't no uh, tethers. I mean, I don't know about Yuki. Yuki, do, he do talk with a little accent. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds Japanese a little. <laughs> I think it's I sound Jamaican. <laughs> Japanese. Uh, He's part Japanese. Everybody. <laughs> Uh, I, can, I can trace my dad's side of the family to Mississippi because of slavery stuff. Shit, I can trace my dad all the way back to um to um uh, uh Quentin Tarantino movies. Uh, <laughs> he was born on a film reel. Um and that's how he was created. I was immaculately uh conceived. I have no father. <laughs> uh, my mom was a test tube baby. <laughs> so it's not in a test tube. No, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually a dumpster baby. A dumpster baby. <laughs> actually. Um, so the umbilical cord is around my neck. My mom tried to 
So, oh, so you're a prom night baby. <laughs> prom night baby. <laughs> Shit. No fucking, my, I'm a, I'm a seed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm fucking around with you. I'm fucking dry. Um, I guess we can go to our topic. Learn how to read. Learning how to read. Um, me and you, you thought this up, what, literally last week, we were sitting back chilling. And we, I, well, really, it's more me running my goddamn mouth, but I'm running my mouth, and um, I was talking about how, about reading. I love books. Actually, I'm going to grab a couple books, but um, you can tell people about um, some of your favorite authors. Awesome. I got none. I got favorite books. Save some time, my favorite book is uh, Native Son. Native Son? Yeah. What's that? It came out oh, 1930. Hmm. Huh. I think. Um, Goddamn. Probably shot myself in the foot for that because it's been years since I last read that book. Oh, I see. Yeah. I like Native Son. Like, I mostly read uh, not fiction, like more like self improvement, but I've been leaning towards like fiction books because you kind of need like balance. Like, you need like balance of. Uh, he said something about the screen. He said, y'all good. He said, the screen. What about the screen, Um, Breeze Omega? What about the screen? But anyway, go. Like, I've been branching out more to fiction books because I've been reading a lot of non-fiction stuff. And I feel like you need that balance of fiction and non-fiction because you do need to take, you do need to have your brain not turn off, but take a rest from the real shit. Yeah, um... I haven't read uh, many books in a long time, but my wife actually broke it down. Ooh, sorry. She broke it down better than me. She was like, we actually do read all the time. Anime. <laughs> I'm like, you know, you got a point. I'm sitting back watching a 22-minute episode of some shit. I'm read up. I'm reading some shit. Yeah, it's not on a, like, college degree level. <laughs> well, sometimes it do. I'm like, what the fuck this word is? Big ass five syllable, yeah, so five syllable w- word. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck going on here? But hey, but no, I want to pull some books out. I have this book. I saw about my books. Goddamn. It is. Let me put it closer to ya. I have George Carlin. Ooh, I'm trying to get out of the glare. George Carlin is backwards. Bane droppings. This is a good book. This is George Carlin's first book. Uh, I, I guess I can read some from out of here. I usually have pages folded to tell myself, like, ooh, read this part, but nothing. So, um, I will, you know what? I'm, I'm going to do some um, spiritual shit. I'm just going to do the, do the pages. <laughs> stop. Oh, actually, I do got a page folded right here. Watch me something outlandish. What is it? Um, I think the one. I think I forgot how I'd be turned. Oh, here we go. I think it's this one with the page folded in. It is Texas cancel plans to put its motto "Friendship" on its license plates. People complimented that. That is too wimpy. Why don't they just change their motto to "Let's kill all the niggers"? Come to mind. <laughs> come to the mind as appropriate. <laughs> I made a bargain with the devil. I would get to be famous, and he would get to fuck my sister. <laughs> These are all excerpts from George Carlin's fucking joke books and shit. Um, I ain't know I had some pages folded. Shit, let me find some more. Shit, go ahead. Go. Um, what's some other books you like, Ben? Um, I should currently read Welcome to the NHK. And then you bring up manga. Okay. Uh, no, it's actually it's an actual book. Okay. So, for those who don't know. Welcome to the N- Welcome to the NHK is a really popular book and anime series about this Hikikomori named Sato, mm-hmm. who is a fucking loser who can stay at home all day, play video games, smoke cigarettes, get drunk, mm-hmm. and don't go outside because um, mm-hmm. you know how these fucking Japanese motherfuckers are. Mm-hmm. They have one bad day and they want to shut, shut themselves out of the world for like 10, 20 oh, that, that, years. That's what white people love. Love their society so much because they, they, they're one bad day from blowing everything up. Yeah. And this dude, like, he is fucked up in the head. Like, he talked about how he ordered this fucking drug off the internet to help him get high as hell and avoid life. Mm-hmm. His homeboy is a creepy ass pedophile who has a CD for underage girls. Mm-hmm. 
but he used you know, his but his excuse is, oh, I need this for a reference for my virtual novel. <laughs> and and it, uh, who was that um video gamer with his turn about he he took uh tranquilizers? Oh the the Pokemon the, the Pokemon video we watched oh, yeah, with the, the, uh, about Lugia. Yeah, the guy who created Lugia, like he was yeah. talking about how he was <laughs> high on tranquilizer and was drinking a lot to make Lugia. But yeah, dude, um Sato, he thinks that there's a conspiracy to make young Japanese man into Hikikomori and just had them shut, be shut in for their whole lives. Uh-huh. So he's plotting to go against the NHK, which is the Japanese broadcasting network, and expose them. Book of before that is um, low tier, low tier character, Tomizaki Kun. That's about this. Again, this cornball Japanese motherfucker who all he does is play video games or anime and think life is unfair and that people are naturally born with talent. But his homegirl, and oh, he is telling him, you know, life is just like another game. You gotta level up, improve yourself, improve who you are as a person. Mm-hmm. And you can play this game of life and win. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I. I think what was the last nonfiction book I read? Um, I th- actually can't think about the last nonfiction book I read. I want to say uh, I want to say Ten Essential by Grant Cardone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I pr- that's probably that's probably right for me. Like Ten Essential is pretty much um teach you that you can't fucking work on an average level if you want to better yourself. You have to ten extra whatever you're doing in life. Like you can't just work. Like crunch time, like how you, in the game you see motherfuckers get mad over crunch time. Like, mm-hmm. you need to have crunch time and work longer hours to get what you want in life. True. Like you can't, like nothing great come out of 40, 40 hour work week. No, ever. And that's what you talk about in the book. Like you had to 10x your work style if you want high end results. Mm-hmm. People are probably wondering why learning how to read. We say that because. It's not easy reading everyone's books. It's about your writing style. A How lot you of connect with the audience. Yes, a lot of people. You know why a lot of young black people gravitated towards um, what was it the Forty Eight Powers of Law? Yeah, Forty Eight Laws of Power. Forty Eight Laws of Power and Iceberg Slim books and Tariq Nasheed books is because it's written plain and goddamn simple. You don't. They're not trying to make you feel bad, or they're not trying to make you um feel better. Make you feel better about yourself. Not it's even the that. hard truth. No, they they don't make you feel like oh this book is a book I'm reading. They make it so plain and simple, like oh this shit's actually yeah readable. Like I can actually I want to know more. It's like uh um I don't know if you can finish it yet, but the new Fifty Cent book, like just like that. That shit was so like simple to listen to. I'm like oh well shit, ain't that that's actually good. Yeah, th- those kind of books are like like simple easy to read books that. Helps you understand what material you're absorbing in your head, mm-hmm. in your brain. Yep. I do like complex books, but the best book is the most simple ass bullshit that anyone can pick up and read. Yep. Got, got something from Justin Shots. Classic Native Son. What's Native Son? Tell me that movie that was on HBO, man. Justin Shots. Are you talking about that damn movie from HBO about the young black kid? Who um spoilers the end and he get gunned down by cops. Yeah, uh, that's a book. Yeah, no, it's based off a book. Oh. I hope you ain't talking about Native Son. That movie was um it was alright, but it was some I don't know. That I don't know. I I ain't got, gonna, wait, it's a movie bullshit? Oh, you remember I told you it was the emo negro. You want negro. Remember I was telling you how you were a little jacket and all that shit? Yeah, 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 yeah. I brought it up in the podcast. Wait, wait, what's it said in the, in the nineteen thirties? No, 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 no. This is like modern day type did shit. They, they remade it for by the day. No, it's modern day. Hold on. Uh, just in shots. He say, uh, "Guardian of the Orisha at the something. I don't know. I can't really see it. Oh, Nigga song. Okay, so I think so. Yeah. Okay, so now it sounds about this dude who, young black guy, gets a white, he works for this rich white people. Yeah, yeah, I told you about the movie, yeah. And he's a driver or some shit. Yeah, he's a driver. And he gets involved with this little gr- white girl. 
he chokes her to death and dump her body in a furnace. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it plays yeah. out. Yeah. But he's he's evil now? He's not no, he was emo. The character in the um book, not book, but in the movie was emo. He was he was an emo in the book? Not emo, but he dressed like emo. Oh. He dressed. He dressed like emo. Tell me I'm like in this. What the fuck? Okay, that's weird. No, no, no. He was well, he dressed like an emo ass dude. Straight up. Hmm. But yeah, uh, pretty much he kills the girl after choking her, burns her body, okay. and yeah, this this is this, this in the book. Okay. And he's pretty much trying to cover the murder. I don't know how it is in the movie, mm-hmm. but. Spoilers, he gets caught in the Let me read another expert. Excerpt from George Collins. Brain dropping. It's called Fun Foes. Since I hold no real national allegiances, when it comes to armed conflict around the world, I tend to root for the side that will provide me the most entertainment. So Don was saying is a case in point. Any head of state who says, end quote, we will walk on your corpses and crush your skulls, and you will swim in our own blood, end quote. And it's my kind of guy. You're just, you just don't hear that kind of shit anymore. This man obviously has great potential, or great potential to provide me with assuming diversions. In fact, all Middle Eastern religions fanatics are brimming with entertainment potential. On CNN recently saw... A video of 200 Islamic student suicide bombers who are gardening, I'm oh, sorry, graduating from suicide bomber school. They were singing what a apparently the school fight song, Our Blessing to You Who Fight at Gates of Enemy, the Gates of the Enemy, and Knock on Heaven's Door with the Skulls in Your Hand. How can Christians and Jews ever hope to compete with these folks who obviously enjoy their work so much? Man. Yeah. George Collins shit. So yeah, that's brain droppings. Also, I got Napalm what right there. Oh. Napalm and Philly Putty is George Collins' second book. It's a freaking amazing book. I'm gonna uh, try to find a page real quick. Um find a page. Alright. This is called the Bovine, the Bovine Feces Trilogy <laughs> by E. Plubris Bullshit. Every time you're exposed to advertising in America, you're record reminded that this country's most profitable business is still the manufacturing, packaging, distributing, and marketing of bullshit. High quality, grade A, prime cut, pure American bullshit. And the, the, the sad part is that most people seem to believe bullshit only comes from certain predictable sources. Advertising, politics, salesmen, and lawyers. Not true. Bullshit is everywhere. Bullshit is rampant. Parents are full of shit. Teachers are full of shit. Clergymen are full of shit. And law enforcement, law enforcement is full of shit. This entire country is completely full of shit. And always has been. From the Declaration of Independence to the Constitution... To the Star Spanner Banner, it's nothing more than one big steaming pile of red, white, and blue all-American bullshit. Think of how it all started. America was founded by slave owners who informed us all men are created equal, all men, except Indians, niggers, and women. Remember, the founders were, were a small group of unelected white male land-holding slave owners who also, by the way, suggested that their class be the only one allowed to vote. To my mind, that it, it's what is known as being stunningly embarrassing, full of shit. And everyone, everyone bought into it. All Americans bought it. And those same Americans continue to show their ignorance with the, all the nonsense about wanting their politicians to be honest. What are these cretins thinking? Do they really they realize that what they are wishing for? If honesty were suddenly introduced in American life, everyone, everything would collapse. It would destroy the country because our system is based on in intricate and del- delicately balanced uh, systems of lies. 
And I think that somehow deep down, Americans understand that, this. That's why they elected and reelected Bill Clinton. Because he, given a choice, Americans prefer that bullshit right out in front where you can get a good, strong whiff of it. Clinton may be full of shit, but at least he let you know it. And people like that in the 1960s, Dole, 1969, Dole tried to hide his bullshit. He, he, and he lost. He kept saying, I'm playing and I'm an honest man. People don't believe that. What did Clinton say? He said, hi, folks, I'm completely full of shit. And how do you like that? And people said, you know what? At least he's honest. At least he's honest about being completely full of shit. Next part. Will they buy this bullshit? It's the same in business world. Everyone knows by now all the businessmen are completely full of shit. The worst kind of low life cretin, cr criminals, cocksuckers you ever you expected to meet. And the proof is they don't even trust each other. When a businessman sit down to negotiate with another businessman, the first thing he says is is assume the other guy is a complete lying prick who's trying to fuck him out of his money. So he does everything he can to fuck the other guy a little bit faster and a little bit harder. And he does it with a big smile on his face. That big bullshit businessman smile. And if you're a customer, that's when you get well, that's when they give you the really big smile. The customer always gets that really big smile as a businessman. Carefully positions himself directly behind the customer. Unzips his pants. Proceeds to serve the account. I'm serving this account. Uh, this customer. Uh. Hey, that's what he's saying. He needs uh, th service. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Now you know what they mean by them when they say we we specialize in customer service. Whoever first said that, let the buyers beware, was be probably bleeding from the asshole. <laughs> but that's business. That's the business. Business and businesses is okay. Last part. Bullshit from the sky. But folks, I have to tell you, in the bullshit department, a business can't be a can't can't hold a candle to a clergyman because when it comes to bullshit big time major league bullshit you have to stay in awe you have to stand in awe in awe of all the champion of false promises and exaggerated claims religion no contest religion easily has the greatest bullshit story ever told think about it religion has actually convinced people that many of them adults there there is an invisible man who lives in the sky, who watches everything you do at every minute of every day, and what and who has a special list of 10 things he does not want you to do. And if you do any of these 10 things, you have a special place full of fire and smoke, burning and torture and anguish, where he will send you to remain to remain and suffer and burn and choke and scream and cry forever and ever until the end of time. But he loves you. <laughs> he loves you and he needs money he always needs money he's all powerful all perfect all knowing all wise but somehow he just can't handle money religion takes in billions of dollars pays no taxes and somehow always needs a little bit more now you talk about good good bullshit story holy shit god damn boy y'all better stop playing I'm trying to tell y'all this ain't no joke. George calling a goddamn beast. Um, what's up? I can actually have Ben read an excerpt while I fix something. You can read this, Yugi. Yep. The next book is When Will Jesus? Look, when will Jesus bring the pork chop? That's book I now read. His yeah, final book. Sure. What are we reading? This one um is what you can read. The Control Freak. Please. All right. Control freaks. Hello. We're the ones that control your lives. We make the de you make the decisions that affect all of you. Is it interesting to know that those who won your lives will have the nerve to tell you about it in this matter? Suffer, you fools. We know everything you do, and we know where you go. What do you think the cameras are for? And the global position satellite and the social security numbers. You belong to us. And that cannot be changed. Hey, she does. Sign your petitions. 
walk your picket lines, bring your lawsuits, cast your votes, and write those stupid letters to whoever you please. It won't change a thing because we control your lives and we have plans for you. Go back to sleep. Woo! Real shit right there. Real shit. It's one of my favorite books. I used to carry this book around all the time. Probably piss a whole lot of Christmas off. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it makes a bad when I used to read it on, um, on the, on the, I used to take the bus and people used to ask me, um, like, what's this book about? I'm like, oh, it's about um, religion. This book fucked a lot of people up. This book right here I had, this book right here. I mean, anyone who was listening, y'all can't see it, but we're doing it live on Instagram. You can see right here, this book's right here. This book had a college professor tell me, you know my own students wouldn't read no shit like this? I'm like, wow. Like not even George Carlin, just a book that's over their head. He's basically saying these fucking school kids want textbooks from school when it's an actual book that yeah. give you more okay. not actual. I you shit. There we go. Oh, you want this fucking bullshit book that we written by motherfuckers because we want a paycheck. Mm-hmm. And want to indoctrinate, indoctrinate you into the bullshit and not make you question what are you consuming book by. Yeah, and that's basically what he's breaking down to me. He was like, man, my own students won't crack this shit open. Because all they want to do is learn some fuck shit to get a job. And not to burn themselves as a man or woman. Straight up. All day. All fucking day. But this book is so fucking amazing because I had so many great conversations because of uh, this book right here. This book fucked everybody up. I'm telling y'all. I think a lot of people just don't understand, man. Reading is... For real fundamental. It's fun. It it helps your brain out. You do need to crack a book every once in a while. Yeah, you can watch anime and I I'll give you I'll give you that. That is reading. Yeah. If you take your time to watch a twenty minute anime, shit, if you spend your time watching a whole anime in a day, shit, you read a book. Motherfucker, you read more than a book. She read the book, the manga, the light novel. <laughs> shit. The visual novel. You read it all that the shit. Sound love, the sound novel. Shut up. But but no, I love this book. I love George Carlin book. But I want you for another book. This book is Dexter. Ooh. Oh, gotta put it up. Uh, Dexter. Darkly Dreaming Dexter. This is from the Dexter book series. Uh, Dexter book. Um, from the, the TV series that everyone liked, Dexter and shit. Well, this is the first book. Short as fuck. It's only. 288 pages. Yeah, that is a short book. A short ass book. Yeah, you get done that. Thin as fuck. You probably get done that in a day. Nah, but later on, the books get a little thicker and thicker. Never Harry Potter size. Because I never forget. I, I read the I read the Harry Potter all the way up till Prison of Azkaban. As soon as Prison of Azkaban came out, that shit was so thick, dude. That book was so thick. I'm like, oh no, I ain't doing all that. <laughs> I love you, Harry. When I'm a goddamn um a thousand page read, I ain't for to do a whole essay on the wizarding world of Harry Potter. So I give him on that shit. But the Dexter book is really good too. Written so well. Like I said, I'll crack open the page. A refrigerator chuck. This has nothing. I said to myself, nighttime yogurt delivery, pork link sausages for breakfast. Freshness guaranteed. A load of gro- groper headed north or, or to the airport. Refrigerated trucks move through Miami and around the clock. Even now, even in the night hours, this is, was, this is, was, and nothing more. But I put my foot down on the gas pedal anyway. I moved up in and out of traffic. I got, I got within three cars of the Cornage, uh, K- Carnage? and its Cornish. besieged driver. Traffic stopped. I looked ahead at the trap at the truck. It was running straight up. Bis- Bisonkin? Anybody from Florida, they get it. Moving into the series of traffic lights. I would lose him if I got too far behind. And I suddenly op- wanted very badly not to lose him. I waited for a gap in traffic and quickly nosed out into the oncoming lane. And I'm oh, sorry. I was around the corniche and then sped speeding up. Closing on the truck, trying not to move too fast, not to be conspicuous, 
but slowly closing the space between us. He was three traffic lights ahead, and then two. Then his light turned red, and before I could gloat and catch up, mine did too. I stopped. I realized that some surprise that I I was chewing on my lip. I was tense. Me, Dexter, the ice cube. I was feeling human anxiety, desperation, and actual emotional distress. I wanted to catch up to this truck and see for myself on how. I wanted to put my hand on the uh, on the truck, open the door to the cab and look inside, and then what? Arrest him single-handedly? Take him by the hand and to dear Detective LaGuardia, uh, La, La She was she what I caught. See what I caught. Can I keep him? It was just likely that he would keep me. He was in full hunting mode, and I was merely tagging along by him and unwanted little brother. I'm gonna stop right there. Oh, my phone went dead. Yeah. Oh, went out. I probably did. Shit. I probably did. Around 15 percent too. Oh, phone died. Are you gonna die? Yeah. Huh. Well, we are basic recording now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, we gonna try the fucking live shit again on YouTube, everybody. But um, but yes. But that was a scene from when he thought he saw his brother, cause he always had dreams about uh, having a um older brother, him laying in a pool of blood, and his brother and seeing his mom. Uh, chopped up because that's the whole origin story why Dexter's a serial killer. He saw his mom be chainsawed apart um, by a bunch of drug dealers, and he lay. He basically watched his mom be hacked apart by a chainsaw, and he st- he like basically for like I think a two or three days sat in his mom pull his blood in a in a in a, a cargo uh, shipment thing yeah. and sat in there. And that's why he fucked up the head, and that's why he don't like blood or messes and shit, mm. because he saw his mom be murdered in front of him. But you know he, but he took out his mom, uh, but he sort of forgot that he had a brother. Now I'm so mysterious. He got a brother now. He like he knew he knew he had dreams and shit, but he didn't know the brother was real and shit. And he, he think he saw his brother because his brother looked literally just like him. And that's the whole thing about the first book is his it's his brother who doesn't who's doing all the killing. And he needs to hunt down this killer, but the killer turns out to be his brother. And he's like, "Fuck, do I kill my brother?" New slash in, in the book, he doesn't kill his brother, but his yeah. brother, but his brother do. But in the TV series, he kills his brother. <laughs> but in the um the book series, his brother returns in a fucking shocking way. He be like, "What, his brother? What?" And he just in the book after that. But um, he actually in one of my favorite books. Um, uh, what is it? Dexter is delicious. That's one of the best Dexter books. Woo! Boy, that's such a good book. It's about these white people pretending, to, these rich white people pretending to be vampires and they uh, kidnap people to eat them. And they call themselves vampires because they change their teeth into fangs mm-hmm. and shit. They drink blood. You know, they try to pretend to be vampires. They ain't no vampires yeah, real. Yeah. But they, it's like a cult type shit. They eat people and shit. But, um, that's a good ass book though. But, um, yeah, all these books are good. I got a book from Justify, but I, I don't stay for another day or another time. But you just if you gotta understand, reading is not that fucking easy, and and research ain't that easy. Research ain't just clicking on a Wikipedia article. Yeah, actually, you gotta check their sources and make sure it's not bullshit. Oh, all that. Ah, oh, shit. We had a listener question. Sorry, we couldn't answer it this week. We'll answer it next week. Um, a lot of bullshit was going on <laughs> on our end. We should have done. Well, I could have done better. Same here. Um, but hey, that's all you can do. I guess we can wrap this up. Yeah. Where can they find you? You can find me on, on my website at yukitasnowman.com. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash yukitasnowman and on Tumblr, not Tumblr, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. You can find me at Yuki the Snowman 314. You can find Yuki at Tumblr.com with his blue hair <laughs> and some LGBTQ reasons why. <laughs> That's his podcast series. Um, he want to know why. It's no 13, L- reasons why. <laughs> 13 reasons why it's no LGBTQ. No, 26 reasons why. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
But um, you can find me at Super Lost Fan 108 on Twitter. I'm the TV Guru 108 on YouTube. And you can find any of our stuff at swarthynerd.com. We are swarthy nerd everywhere. Like, subscribe, share. Um, we'll try this live stuff again. Not 100 episodes later, but we'll try again soon. <laughs> um, see you guys and gals next week. Later. <laughs>